Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up SCR CPY with controller support. So it's a little bit different than you're probably expecting and you're gonna be needing to use a different fork of SCR CPY. But if you're entirely new to SCR CPY, I'll leave a link in the video description for the video you need to watch first because you need to know the basics before you want to start trying to do this. But if you're familiar with it, we'll just jump straight in. So the first thing you need to do, actually the first thing I need to do is close this. Then the first thing you need to do is to go over to this GitHub page. I'll leave it linked in the description. It is the new fork or an old fork, but a fork with controller support. So just go to the website, it's on GitHub. Scroll down and download the file. So it'll be just here. So I'm getting the Windows version. Once it's downloaded, just open your folder. So mine's in downloads and that'll be it right there. So just right click on it, extract it to a location. So mine is right here. And this will be the new version of SCR CPY you use. Uh, once you have set this up, you won't be able to use the old version because it will cause some conflicts. So you're going to need to basically migrate over to this one. So now that we have this all set up, we're going to configure it. So the next thing you need to do is open the start menu and go to environmental variables. So just search environment and then you'll see these two options pop up. So we're going to be choosing the one for system. So edit the system environment variables. This will open a new window, click environment variables. This will open another new window. And in this new window, click new, and then enter the following information. So this needs to be perfect, otherwise it's not going to work. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it across. I'll leave these in the description so you can copy them as well. And for the variable name, we're gonna be pasting this. So scrcby underscore server underscore path it needs to be in capitals. And then for the variable value, we're going to grab this from our folder we have open. So if we just go back over to File Explorer, we'll see this one here, scrcpy-server. Click this one here, so scrcpy-server, then right click and go copy as path. Then you can go back over to this one here in the environmental variables and paste in the path inside the variable value. So just make sure you get rid of the quotes. So once you've done that, click OK, OK again, and then one final OK. This will configure it all for controller support. Then you can open your console bat, this one here, and your new version of SCR CPY will open with controller support. Now, just be aware that not everything's gonna be fully supported with controllers, so some games work better than others. Some controllers work better than others, so you're gonna to need to experiment a little bit. But that's pretty much the entire process. There is one more thing that I will show you because you'll probably find it beneficial, and that is to set up a custom bat file. So we're gonna be using one that I've already made here. You can customize these however you like. I've got guides on all this in the video description. So just in the file explorer window, right click, go new, and select text document. This will give you a new text document. So we're gonna call it shortcut and then change the txt file to .bat accept the change now click on it then right click and select edit this will open a new text window and here just paste in the following command i'll leave that linked in the description as well uh, these are all customizable so you can go to the github page and copy the ones you want to use so these basically change the orientation to landscape change the driver and this will increase a bit rate to 40 meg. So once you've done that, just go file, save, close it. And then this will be the new shortcut you use to open SCR CBY with controller support. So double click, it will open, phone will open. We'll just shrink that down. So that's it right there. And you can adjust the window size using this however you want. And if you are looking for any other SCR CPY guides or the wallpaper that I'm using, they'll all be linked below in the description as well. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Cheers everyone.